Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. Uh, part two of a five today is installment. Don't cap of the month. The board show is underway. We already talked about how wrong they were about certain predictions regarding the glaciers. How about we go to something even dumber? It gets dumber as we go, so you don't want to miss one of these because you think each one is as dumb as it can get. Oh no, that's not the case on the Don't Cap of the Month award show. I can assure you. <coughs> Newswars.com. School kills 911 tribute over claims that the U.S. flag colors could cause offense. Okay. Maybe if you are offended by the colors of the flag, then you don't have to stay here. You don't. Now, I can understand if you want to stay and fight for your cause. I'm not saying that. You, you don't like the way it's red, you can leave. I understand within a context. But if the basic premise of the country offends you, to the point where the colors, which are proudly displayed behind me, if that offends you, not only don't I care, but I, if I if I knew that it offended you, I would do something like this, and I would make sure that I highlighted the flag so that you could see the colors better. See, I would do that. That's how much I care that you're offended. And if you don't like it, you don't have to stay here. The idea that America is somehow offensive because we have border laws, which is what this is basically boiling down to, you'll see, is ridiculous. How do I know it's ridiculous? Because all of the countries to which these people are fleeing from, do you know what they have? They have border laws, which are stricter than America's border laws. So are they racist because they don't want to let us into the country without a passport? It's not. Then why are we expected to do it? Isn't that a very interesting question? Let me go ahead and highlight what you actually want to read. That is the article here. I will spare you looking at my ugly face. Um... A high school in Washington State uh, canceled a planned tribute to victims of the September 11th attacks over supposed concerns the U.S. flag colors might cause a sense, according to reports. Student leadership at East Lake High School in Semishish. What's your name? I have a little bit to drink. My name is Sh 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 Shamishish. We're promoting a Patriot Day theme for a football game against Rainier Beach High School last week. Attendees were encouraged, it says, to wear, oh God forbid, red, white, and blue clothing to the game, which was scheduled for Friday, September 10th. However, administrators, uh, limp-wristed and wrong-minded though they may be, at Eastlake reportedly killed the idea hours before the match, notifying students of the decision during school announcements on Friday morning. At this point, I am fairly upset and confused as to why the theme was changed, so I went around asking students in our leadership. A student told a local radio host, Jason Rance, quote, they had explained that red, white, and blue was going to be seen as Racially insensitive and may affect people all in a way that we'll all not understand, and for that reason, we are to change our theme. School principal Chris Bead confirmed the motivating factor in a response to an email from a stunned mother. Our leadership teachers made the decision and explained it to students, Bebe told it. The mother reportedly, I know tomorrow is 9-11, and I understand the sacrifice, oh, I bet you do, and values that our flag represents, certainly, but I think they uh, did not want to unintentionally cause offense to some of those who see it differently. If they don't see it the way we want them to see it, as people who have lived in the country and born and raised here, we don't care. You have the right to dissent, but we don't care if you are offended. If what I am saying offends you, good. Screw you. How's that? That's how inclusive I'm interested in being. That's my First Amendment right. How many of you agree with me? I'd like to know. 
Now, I'm not saying they can't say, wow, screw your red, white, and blue. You can say that. But the fact that we should cowtail when we're right and you're wrong is ridiculous. I hope I didn't stutter. I hope I didn't defend anyone. If I offended you, then you don't understand what the First Amendment is, and you don't understand what culture is, and the importance of culture within a country. The leadership and equality team decided that since it was against a predominantly black team, they did not want to unintentionally cause offense to those who see our flag differently. Do you know how offensive that is? Do you know how many black people love our flag? If they're black, they probably don't like the flag. You notice it's never us hateful libertarians or conservatives that say things like that? What kind of an idiot would say something like that? What do you guys think of this story? Let me know. And if you're really angry, respectfully and legally, followed by legally then respectfully, go to their comment line. Go to their Facebook page. Okay? Let them know at East Lake High School in Shamishish. <laughs> Shamishish. S-A-M-M-A-M-I-S-H. Let them know that you're upset about it. Politely, legally, let me know if you did that. Thank you, friends, for listening. Good night. God bless. There's uh, three more installments to go.